What's up guys, this is Rob from Ungeek and today we're taking a look at Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble, the latest entry in Sega's long-running platforming series. Not only is it a great game for fans of the franchise, but it is also a must-have for Switch players thanks to its fun collection of multiplayer modes. Of course, this game still features lots of levels that are sure to delight platformer fans, but its main multiplayer game modes are what make it a complete package. There are many Switch titles designed mainly as party games while other games are exclusively solo experiences, but with Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble, you essentially get three experiences in one package. Not only do you get an engaging online mode to be played with friends and other players around the world, but you also get perhaps one of the most chaotic and fun couch co-op experiences on Switch. To top it all off, there is a single player mode with 200 levels that's great for longtime fans while being a great entry point to the series for new players. The first of the three big highlights is the Battle Mode, a 16-player online mode that promises a big dose of fun thanks to its five main games. These can be played with friends online or with other players around the world, meaning you can enjoy it at a party or by yourself at home. First up is the Race Mode. As the name implies, this mode has 16 players race each other in a variety of courses, with the first player to reach the goal getting the win. This might seem simple at first, but make no mistake, the race mode is also a fun test of skill. Not only do you have to be careful about bumping into other racers, you also need to make sure that you don't fall off the course. Plus, there are also items that you can use against other players to help you reach a podium finish. Even though there are a lot of party racing games out there, Super Monkey Ball's version is unique enough to make it stand out. Another mode to test your skills is Banana Hunt. Here, the aim isn't to reach a goal at the end of a course. Instead, you'll need to grab as many bananas as possible within the time limit. The maps in Banana Hunt are filled with bananas, but you'll also be competing with other players to collect all of them. You can even bump into them to make them fall out so you can climb up the leaderboard. Near the end of each battle, the bananas get multiplied, making the end part a mad dash to collect as much as you can. These modes aren't limited to free-for-all rules though, as the Robot Smash minigame splits the 16 players into two teams of eight. The players in each team must then work together to smash robots to get points. There are small robots that reward some points, though the big robots reward more points. Still, these are harder to smash through. Further adding to the robot smashing gameplay are more valuable robots that are added near the end of each match, making for another mad dash for teams. Another team-based goal is Goal Rush. Again, players are split into red and blue teams. All players are then tasked with reaching goals in the course that goes downhill. The course features goals with varying rewards. Goals that are harder to reach will reward more points. Plus, going through the goals will give your team control over it, which adds to the team's point tally by the end. Last but not least, we have Baboom. This is perhaps our favorite battle mode game as it's a free-for-all where players must pass a bomb to others before they explode. How it works is that there are 5 rounds and at the start, random players will be given a bomb which they must pass along to a player without one. When the round timer ends, the bombs explode. Players who don't have a bomb will get points. As the round progresses, more bombs are given to random players, meaning it's gonna get harder each round to pass a bomb to players or dodge players with bombs. This makes for a surprisingly tense mode that's incredibly fun and satisfying to win. Thanks to the battle mode games, Banana Rumble should scratch that multiplayer itch for many players, but that's not all the game has. That's because its adventure mode also supports local co-op. That makes it the next game you should bring to any party. 
the Switch has a lot of fun party games to play, and Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble is another one that you should definitely add. While this game is technically a platformer, it doesn't work as your typical 3D platformer would. Players can't jump in this game as the goal is to roll through each level and get to the goal within one minute. This might seem easy at first, but the stages become quite challenging as the game progresses. All of the Adventure Mode's 200 levels can be played by up to 4 players locally with a split screen, local multiplayer mode, or online multiplayer mode. You can even progress through the entire game through co-op, meaning you don't need to unlock the levels first in single player. In co-op, the goals remain the same, even though just one player getting to the goal will make you progress. This might seem easy at first, but it's welcome as couch co-op gets quite chaotic, especially if you have collision on. Thankfully, you can have collision off if you want to progress more smoothly through the game's various challenging levels. But we can definitely see playing Super Monkey Ball at a party with four friends with collision on as that should deliver lots of hilarious moments that hopefully won't ruin any friendships. What's also great about this mode is that it can be played with a mix of online and local players. For instance, two of us playing on one Switch played with another player on Online. This became one of our favorite moments of the game, partly because the online player helped us get through some of the difficult courses. If you ask us, playing through the adventure mode with other players is the way to go, given how it leads to a lot of memorable moments. But if you want to collect everything or want to challenge yourself, you can always go solo. Super Monkey Ball is a long-running series, but Banana Rumble is actually the first proper new entry in over a decade. That's because the previous game, Banana Mania, is technically a remake of the first three games in the series. The last proper series entry was 2012's Banana Splits for the PS Vita. As a franchise's first all-new game in years, Banana Rumble does not disappoint as it features 200 levels with dazzling designs based on popular sites around the world, but remixed. For instance, there is a world that's essentially a cyberpunk version of the Colosseum, while another is Kyoto but drenched in red and gold. Design isn't the only appeal of these levels though, as they're also quite challenging from a gameplay perspective. Especially if you want to complete the objectives like getting each level's golden banana or completing the course in under 8 seconds. You'd want to complete these though as meeting objectives will give you various cosmetic rewards to dress up the game's roster of playable characters. What's more, players can even unlock new characters in the game shop. Even though the courses and objectives can be challenging, the core gameplay is easy to pick up and play, making Banana Rumble a great entry point to the series for fans who are new to Super Monkey Ball. It also helps that the game has various assist features like checkpoints and rewinds to help newer players. Thanks to its combination of game modes, Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble is a game that we can recommend every Switch player to check out, even for those who are new to the series. With its engaging online multiplayer battle mode, players looking to test their skills or simply want a fun game to distress with will be satisfied. For parties, the couch co-op mode should be a big hit, especially if you turn on Collision for more chaos. Finally, the 200 levels that you can play so will provide hours of playtime, especially as you'll want to replay the levels to complete everything. All of this while being perhaps the most accessible Super Monkey Ball game yet thanks to its various assist features. And that's it for us for Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble. Are you planning on picking up the game or are you already enjoying its 200 levels? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, this is Rob and as always, keep on gaming.